Hey there, Modern Tribe fans. This is Parshat Noah. So, at the end of Parshat Noah, you have this story about the Tower of Babel, and it's a pretty unbelievable thing. You really don't have to believe that there was an actual Tower of Babel to get something out of the story. The idea behind the Tower of Babel is that after the Flood, Noah and all of his descendants were one unified nation. They had one culture, one language, etc. And they wanted to create this tower as a symbol of their invincibility. Now, of course, God doesn't like the idea of human beings putting themselves at the center of the universe, so God decides to destroy the tower, and also God confuses the speech of all of the people, creating 70 different nations that didn't understand each other. It's kind of funny that we were all one unified people, and the one thing that we did was built a gigantic tower to ourselves. So, in the story, God changes this and makes us into different nations. You would think that God would want to keep us as one people, and it kind of makes a lot more sense. We could work together a little bit better, speak to each other without any sort of issues, culturally, whatever. Instead, we're all different people. We shouldn't just be united because we have a single goal. We should be united because we appreciate everyone else's individual goals. I think this is the great thing about how we have so many different cultures in the world. It's not about coming up with world peace under one idea. It's about all of us respecting each other's individual ideas. And I think that that's a really great story that you learn from the Tower of Babel. Instead of us being one people united to create one thing, which is just a big egotistical billboard, instead everything's decentralized. Everyone has their place. Everyone has a different thing that they bring to the table. And once we begin to understand what those individual cultures are like, we can learn more about each other and we can do better uniting under something better than ourselves and whatever we want. Parshat Noah, ModernTribe.com.